All right, it's time. I've been grinding for a long time. Y'all know that. And it's time I achieve one of my long lost goals. All right, I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm a little more than 30,000 away. So please, Pharaohs, help me run my sub count up in the month of September. If you watch this video, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers in one month to get to 100K. Again, we can do this, Pharaohs. I trust in my Pharaohs. Y'all didn't help me down and pay my bills for over a year. And I know we can do this together. We've been through a lot. The grind ain't never stopped. And we going forward in the month of September. I need about 30,000 subscribers in the month of September to achieve this goal. I'm going to grind my behind off to get to it. I know we got it in us. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. We finna do something amazing and have our moment. By the end of September, 30,000 subscribers in one month. Let's go. Go, Mr. Telefero TV. We about to get into a very deep one. All right, this one is gonna be uh one of those ones, right? Like that's all I can say. 100K game. We on the way. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I'm trying to go for 100,000 subscribers by the end of September, and I think I'm gonna reach that goal. I'm grinding hard right now. All right. So, so for those who don't know, a couple days ago, Kevin Hart started a challenge, challenging celebrities to donate money to Houston. For the after the Hurricane Harvey and the flooded areas throughout Houston and, and, and surrounding areas. It's not just Houston, by the way. It's the surrounding areas. It's it's bad in Houston right now. Let me make this clear. Let me just take a second to say, look, we are you are in my prayers, city of Houston, all the areas that are affected by this. And it's even going to affect pretty much nationally everybody with rain. But for the most part, most areas are not getting as bad as Houston. I, I heard New Orleans might catch a lot of rain. That's never good when you hear rain or anything, a significant amount of rain in New Orleans and um, a couple areas in the area of Texas going to catch some rain from that. So prayers and, and, and just just keep staying strong. I know that's easy for me to say on the other end, but just stay strong, Houston. All right. Kevin Hart started this challenge, challenging celebrities to uh, donate money to his thing that he's doing with Red Cross to, to, to get money back to Houston to help save people's lives, to get them food water everything again it's tough traveling right now so you, you talking about people who are not able to, to get to stores for food who are literally being rescued on boats it's tough right now i thought that was a great thing that kevin hart was doing everybody doesn't share those sentiments i don't even know why this is a conversation today but since master p brought it to the forefront we're going to talk about it master p did an interview with tmz i believe yesterday and he said oh, look I'm, I'm blessed and i'm happy that kevin hart gave a donation but he was like, I feel like you don't need to pretty much, in so many words, try to force people to do stuff with their money or, or try to convince people to make donations with their money. Or, you know, Kevin Hart needs to stop trying to get other celebrities to donate money. They're going to do it out of their heart. Master P did acknowledge that he did give a donation. And he was like, I'm not knocking Kevin, but I think you just need to kind of let people do what they want. All right, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. That, that rubbed me the wrong way. And I got a lot of respect for Master P. I actually just DM Master P yesterday. He ain't hit me back, but I DM'd him. I want to cover that 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 league out in Las in Las Vegas for the first weekend. So, P, if you hear this video or you watch this video, just know I'm I'm trying to get out there to Vegas. But I gotta make it clear, I disagree with you wholeheartedly, Master P. That wasn't right. Sometimes I believe timing is everything for comments, and at the least, that's bad timing. And again, Master P's an OG, and we gotta treat him like an OG. That's wrong, and the OG shouldn't be shouldn't be making mistakes like that. Houston right now can take every dime that they can get. This is not the time to judge another man, especially a man that's trying to help raise money. You see, Kevin Hart didn't respond to you because he understands that shouldn't be the conversation right now. You trying to tell him what to do with his voice. I don't if you're gonna play that game, Master P, I want you to be consistent and call everybody out for everything they do and how they use their voices wrong. I want you to be consistent. I want you to call out every rapper that's talking about gang gang and, and, and kill this dude this, kill this guy that. If, if we really want to get into the, the, the heart of trying to stop people from impacting other people's lives, don't these rappers have impacts on, their, on, on these kids' lives? I'm just saying, if we're going to do that, there's a lot of people you can call out. Why are we always trying to call out the people at the top doing good? So what, you'd be more happy if Kevin Hart just didn't say anything, just donated in silence? He at the, the bottom line is at the end of the day, Kevin Hart got more money to Houston than it would have been if he didn't make this challenge. 
That is the reality of the story. I don't understand why this hate comes to Kevin Hart. I don't get it. I get that maybe you believe his stardom as a comedian came as a surprise. He wasn't the next man up. But this hatred towards Kevin has to stop, man. I'm tired of people. We're hating on Kevin Hart for this? This? He's helping money get to Houston. Again, there are more people out here doing crazy things in this world. When we're, when we're sitting here talking about Kevin Hart challenging other celebrities when there's a thousand dance challenges going on on the internet we did the als challenge right when it when it's, it's when another race creates something it seems like it's not a problem but when our people create something we got difficult jj watt has raised i think as of tonight six to seven million dollars for houston right he's a he's a football player for the texans houston obviously hits home for him He's a Texas football player, the best on their team, a defensive player. Salute to J.J. Watt as he recovers from his injury. He raised about six or seven million. You didn't hear Master P come out and say anything about him? Now, I don't know if TMZ asked him the question about Kevin Hart specifically. I'm just saying, why do we always attack our own people? This wrong, y'all. This wrong. And, and, and I could take it a step further. Again, no disrespect to Master P. I got a lot of love and respect for Master P, the CEO, the legend that he is. And he, you know, he's... he's, he's found ways to stay relevant decades later i got a lot of respect for pete but but what, what's more impactful what's more negative to the people kevin hart challenging celebrities to give money to or other organizations or give money to the red cross uh is that bad or at some point master p did sell drugs right or is he selling drugs a bad thing or other rappers or other people in general selling drugs to other people what's worse what's more detrimental we're mad about kevin hart giving money or, or give not only just giving his money but challenging other people other celebrities to give money with power and influence i'm sorry i just i don't get it and i, I hate to kind of compare giving uh, uh challenging celebrities to selling drugs but it's true what negatively impacts people i just think we are in right now and I'm, this is not even a masterpiece thing this is just a a landscape thing i just that that rubs me the wrong way because it it makes a bigger point and, and i'm sorry that masterpiece has to be the example it makes a bigger point. We are worried about the wrong things when it comes to our, each other. As black people, we really don't want to see each other winning. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. The bottom line, Houston is the only thing we should be concerned about. And if somebody found a way to raise more money for a city in need right now, and, 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 and by the way, Houston and other cities around it, I don't think we need to be upset at that. Again, legally just telling to other celebrities who we get mad at for not using their power that they have. The, and we, we get mad at them. I'm the one. I'm the guy that gets on the internet and says, I feel like celebrities should do more. We give a lot of time to these guys' music, uh, especially musicians and, and, and basketball players and, and football players and athletes as well. We give a lot of time. A lot of our time goes to go into these games, listening to this music. These people inspire us a lot of the time. But at the same time, we give them a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of resources it's only right that they give back. These are the people making the most money. And everybody can give back. Let me make that clear. And Master P did say that in the video. Everybody can give back. So I want to be clear. He did say that. It doesn't matter what the price is. or It doesn't matter about the dollar amount. You can give money. You can give time. Whatever it is. Let me make that clear. But I'm just saying, why is that a conversation? Why are we upset at Kevin Hart? And I just think, man, there's something there with celebrities and Kevin Hart. And I just have never been able to put my finger on it. Because all I've seen is the brother do good with his platform and his voice and challenging other celebrities the chris pauls of the world the chris brown gave a hundred thousand ti gave twenty five thousand i just think there's more stupid stuff going on and i don't have the time to allocate to get mad at kevin Hart for finding ways to give more money to a city and, and surrounding areas that's in need right now i had to break that down for you now to give master p credit he did come out and clear up those comments. And I want to read that to give the brother credit because he did try to clean it up. He said, we love Houston. Houston helped my people during Hurricane Katrina. They opened their arms to families from New Orleans. I probably was the first to donate it. I gave a lot, but there's no need to talk about it. Giving is a blessing. If you can give, then give. Your blessing will come back from God. I have nothing against Kevin Hart. Don't get it twisted with the TMZ soundbite. Hurricane Harvey has devastated Houston and the surrounding areas. Families need food, water, clothing, shelter, and it might take at least 10 years to rebuild. Please go and volunteer now in Houston. It could be monetary or if you could be your time. Again, I said that earlier. You can make a difference whether it's big or small. It's not a race. It's a marathon. We're going to need your help some more. 
there's going to be water damage mold and mildew and you know and keep going on the kids are going to need to get back to school most of the elderly, elderly have lost everything we need people to be there when the cameras leave i agree with that wholeheartedly we love houston we don't need problems of negativity right now we need prayers and solutions. I guess that was more or less to generally get all his opinions together. He, he did admit he didn't have anything against Kevin Hart. But Master P, you created that yourself. Nobody brought that to you randomly. You created that energy around your name with this situation yourself. Again, I get that you donated Master P in private. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that. Thank you so much, sir, for using your money to do good. And, and again, that league, I went in on that league as a reporter. By the way, you see from my voice here, I ain't got no, I ain't holding back nothing my tongue when I when it's on my mind. I'll do that in your league as well. But I just don't get Master P. Social media, we have to understand this right now. And I think there's a generation out there that doesn't get this. Social media is a part of our daily lives. There is no going back. As a matter of fact, it's going to get even more a part of our daily lives in the in the in the future. Your jobs now ask about a lot of jobs ask for your social media platforms now right now. How many followers you got? If it's like in, in, a, in a profession that deals with media or anything like that, I'm telling you, I've applied. They deal in the past. They, they deal, they want your following accounts now. A lot of these companies want your follower accounts. Social media isn't going anywhere. I'll tell you a quick story real quick while I got you guys. Something came up. I wanted to do this thing a, a few months ago where I gave back to home uh, homeless people. But I wanted to be similar to what Kev's doing, but it was a challenge. I wanted to make a challenge on YouTube and start putting it at the end of my YouTube videos. But I conflicted with a couple people around me back and forth like, I don't know if I should do this and put this on camera because I'm not trying to highlight that I'm a great person and I'm giving back. No, I want to put it out there so other people can do it as well. Because right now we're in that era of it. If it didn't happen on social media, it didn't happen. You can do great deeds. I know people who do great deeds all the time. And it does it goes unnoticed but when you have a guy of kevin hart's influence and i have influence on my youtube not as much as kevin hart obviously but i have influence on my youtube a little bit you want to maximize that and if with your voice voice with your platform if we can help spread things and make that infectious energy come around and it gets, it gets contagious with people why not maximize that kev hart yes he donated 50 grand and probably it's been more than that now salute to kev He's trying to maximize not only his donation, but challenge his celebrity friends to do this. Well, nothing's wrong with that. I got love for Master P, but I had to call him out on that. Sorry, man. I got to keep it honest with y'all. Y'all know I got to do my my duty is to keep it 100 with my subscribers. 100K gang. What up, Pharaohs? We in the building. I had to do that. Sorry to anybody that ever defended, but I had to keep it honest. And if you ain't ready, if you ain't ready for that real, you probably want to unsubscribe to me. All I can do is keep it real. I'm not finna knock Kevin Hart for what he did. I don't understand the hatred that comes Kevin Hart way. It never made sense to me because the brother does a lot of good. I watched this brother outside of an A&R barbecue in Memphis. Anybody knows I'm not lying about this. Pass out 97. It was way more than that. Hundreds of barbecue sandwiches to people in Memphis, right? And I know celebrities from Memphis who wouldn't do that. He just passed out barbecue sandwiches to promote a movie. Got out there in the heart of Memphis. And just start passing out sandwiches on Elvis Presley Bubble Bar. The brother gives back and the brother does use his platform for good. I ain't mad at Kevin. Alfred Telefero, Miss Telefero TV. They got a little deeper than I expected. But again, it's about using that platform for good. And I'm just not finna, I'm not in the business of knocking Kevin Hart for finding more ways to get more resources allocated for Houston and the surrounding areas. Again, prayers to Houston. And I think right now it's a good time to put on the screen how you can give back to Kev Hart um organization that's again for houston and in our surrounding areas relief and then also let me put jj watts he's doing really well right now again i think it's at least six seven million dollars in i'll put on the double that on the screen as well if you want to give back to him and and what i've been hearing i've been watching interviews and uh, i've been trying to keep up with with different rappers you know y'all know i live in this entertainment world the bun bees and the, and the trade of truths salute to both of them they're saying try to look in the faith-based organization if you want to give back and if i can help out by even getting a dollar to somebody from my platform i love to do that that's what it's about using your platform for good again trade the truth and bun b said just look for faith-based organizations online i'm pretty sure they're everywhere to give back to houston and, and and again we're just trying to just help houston right now prayers in the comment section for houston y'all got it stay strong don't let it get to you mentally i know again i know that's easier said than done but we 
um, we're with you. We're with you, and we're going to have to fight. It's not about a race thing right now. We got to get together as humans and fight natural disasters. Ending here. It's crazy. I, it's such a crazy world we live in. I feel like it's black on black crime. We're killing each other. Then the blacks, we're dealing with white on black crime so we're killing each other then we're dealing with whites killing us and police officers killing us and then on top of that we got natural disasters killing all of us so we cannot be a part of these little mini wars when we got other bigger more deadly evils out here subscribe to my channel that's probably as real as a video i've done in quite some time mr teleferro tv thank you for the time love to pour don't take it for granted salute i'm out I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.